diplomacy is something for diplomats. So it's an expert thing, diplomacy. So when you speak about cultural diplomacy, I can understand it as a way to make use of the importance of culture. And there is a growing awareness of the relevance of culture in societies. So when in the past maybe there were a strict division between culture and politics, I think it's not any longer the case. And especially when it comes on diplomacy, I think cult the cultural dimension can uh, be part of the solution. So I could give many examples. Um, when I was a young minister, I had to deal with the Saudis because we had the oil crisis in 1973. I had to meet Sheikh Yamani. He was the boss of the oil. OPEC. So what I did is um, that I informed myself about Yamani and there I found that he, as an Islamist, wrote a thesis on the Islam. And I took the time as a young minister to read that thesis. So when we sat down, I started to compliment him with his thesis. And we had a short dialogue on that. And that helped enormously to get his trust. And the other way around, he knew me. So we didn't start with the business, the political business. We start with the cultural dimension. And could you give other examples? If you go to the Netherlands, uh, when I became a prime minister, we had uh, behind us a number of years of violence of young Dutch Moluccans, mm -hmm. the Moluccans' violence. <clears throat> so I figured out how could I end this. And then you have people who said you have to be very nice to them, and others said you have to be very harsh on them. I said maybe there's a different possibility. So I invited those people, <coughs> asking them, explain you me the history of the Moluccans. Yes. They did, and I said maybe you have one of your parents or uncles, even maybe a grandfather who was famous in the community, mentioned it to me and then I talked with our Queen of the Netherlands, is it not possible to give them a declaration? So we organized a meeting to celebrate the history of the Moluccans and the Queen handed out declaration to the old wise Moluccans. And that, since then, we never had violence in the Netherlands from the Moluccans because they finally got uh, a recognition for their history and they had a feeling uh, they were not longer part of only a discussion about being a risk for the Dutch society and so but that they were appreciated.